to Lucina as opposed to Marth? Or yeah. Oh, uh, we didn't even see Cloud out of uh, Mr. Eats today. Yes, we have. Um, he, uh, now, Lucina against Sheik, uh, you know, over Marth is a better option because, you know, for for, 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 for standard reasons. Like, you don't, like, he loves a forward smash. Yeah. Lucina's forward smash is going to kill Sheik at a relatively early percent, and she doesn't need to worry about spacing. Yes, that's the yeah. key in this matchup. Is that now? Of course, Marth can do it as well. I'm not saying he oh, can't. We see MK Leo do it phenomenally against you know Void and Mr. R. But you know, I was speaking to E and E's was like, yeah, I, I really like Lucina for Sheen. And either way, we're going to be going into it on Town and City. So this is a very interesting stage pick right off the bat. But I like it. We'll see how it pans out for both okay. these players. You, uh, oh, oh, okay. Just answering back, these players are just swinging already. And I feel like a lot of what we're going to be seeing is going to, to sort of call back to Mr. East's set with Frozen, where it's the difference between a player who's very much rushed down, very much just go with very the flow and keep that yeah. explosive momentum going, mm -hmm. versus someone who's very patient, someone who's willing to sort of let the match play itself out. Mm -hmm. Definitely, man. And we see that. We see that as as the match is starting. You know. Uh, Dill's uh, at 77%, but he's, you know, we see him constantly go for the safest options. You know, he's, he gets his bread and butters. He doesn't do anything too crazy. And Mr. E right now just trying to figure out how he can continue to land hits, but in the meantime, Dill has managed to bring back the percentage differential between the two of them. Ow! Oh, oh my god! That almost actually... Okay, Mr. E, please stop. Yeah, these dolphin slashes are catching people out. They should know this by now, they pivot up smash. Oh! All right. We got a game on our hands My now. man hit him with the Thundercats. He just swooped right in. Okay. All right, I'm missing that combo. Now, the thing is, if Dill hopes to win this matchup, he needs to combo E. I'm not seeing that coming from him. And if, you, if, you're, if you're playing Sheep, but you're not getting your combos, you're playing, you're playing the matchup wrong. You know? Okay. Nice attempt from Dill. We've seen right now, both these players have just been going blow for blow with each other. And but that and that's the thing. You don't ever want to do that with Sheik. Yes. If you're going blow for blow with someone with, with, as as Sheik, it is, it, uh, you're dead. You're de okay? I like that from Dill. No! Thundercats! Oh. Wow. E with the beautiful read. We might see a switch from Dill to Diddy. We um, could see the Diddy because that was. We could. Now. I'm not gonna lie, that was a molly whopping on that cheek. And this is <laughs> a very strong cheek. Shout out, shout out to the molly whop. <laughs> but uh, no, yeah. Oh, you stay. Thing is, Dill. There is, a, there is. Dill's greatest quality is also his greatest weakness. The man does not take risks. The man plays very, very safe. He needs to body her. He needs to be all up in that and show her who's boss. We'll see if he makes any of those type of adjustments here on game two, as we see right out the gate. Okay. He putting on a bit of damage with Dancing Blade, but still returning in, uh, in with Bouncing Fish. Bouncing Fish on the rush, such an interesting uh, option. Okay. It nice. works. Forward smash. Okay. Forward smash with Bouncing Fish. Nice grenades for coverage. We continue to see this blow for blow style neutral between the two of these and Dill is However, so Dill is no longer trading with Lucina, and this is a this is a very good thing. Yeah, he's coming out more on top with these hits, and we're seeing now that he's going a lot more for zoning out with Needle Storm. And mm -hmm. that's where I feel that Sheik is really going to shine in this particular matchup. Just because you're keeping Lucina at a distance, you're keeping Lucina in a position where she's not, she can't go blow for blow, and that's really what Lucina wants. Now, one one important thing to do, one important thing to note is that Dill used up air and it didn't kill. And the reason as to why I say that is because he sailed it. You never want to sail your up air too too early, especially against Lucina, who's a, who's honestly a heavy hitter in this matchup. But we see, you know, can E make it back to the stage? Dill needs to keep beautiful Nair and keeping. E right at the ledge where he needs to keep him. Oh my god. He's oh. just responds a turn. That's not gonna do it just yet. Uh, yeah, no, Forward air will though. And e we both just not caring. Not caring, man. Both players on clean socks right now. Okay. 
Nice little bread and butter coming from Dill. And again. Dill's got to go for these safer trades because it's what's allowing him to build up that percentage because if he is going to constantly go. go in on him, at least have the percentage lead. So if they're going to go blow for blow, it's E that has now, the rough time. Now, I, I want to see E adapt to this. You know, it's clear that Dill has adapted to E's style of play. Now, can E show Dill, hey, I'm, I haven't lost yet, okay? I understand that you're, that you're, that you, you know, you're doing better at the matchup, but let me show you what I, what I can do. He needs to get back on stage and keep Dill, Dill not letting him. No, Dill is not giving up this ledge. He's got over 100% on him throughout this entire chain of command, but. Reading the, reading the ledge get, uh, the ledge strum and jumping over it. Mr. E is constantly trying to move around Dylan, try and figure out a way in on him. Is that it? Beautiful up air by Dill. And at that point, you know, Dill had definitely <laughs> used enough moves to unsell that up air. Oh, without a doubt. That second stock was exactly what Dill needed to get himself back in the game exactly. and bring momentum mm -hmm. completely into his side. So now, now it is E's pick. Unless Dill bans Battlefield, I think he's going to he's gonna go to Battlefield or Dreamland. I don't see why he wouldn't. He went to Lilac. It's the Lila pick. Three, okay. Two, one, go. And we see. Ah, uh, no, it's, it's uh, not there Lila. Okay, it's not Lila. Game. Something happened. So we got a, slight, so, some, some sort of difficulties over there, whether they didn't agree <laughs> on stage or we got a character switch coming. Uh, no one's saying anything if, to each if, other. If, so if you press start and you go li and you go back to Lilat again, they did it. They Dil did it. You're carrying all these Lilat L's today. Yo. Damn. <laughs> Why, Hangman? Why? <laughs> <laughs> I, I really do need to learn the stage. Though. But okay, so nice bread and butter from both co from both characters. Yep. E! Oh, oh, oh! I he like that. He actually fast fell for a split second to get away from that vanish. Very, very smart coming from Mr. E. Yeah, you know, in these kind of pressured situations is where you see both of these players start to come out with more of the creative options because they know that it's that lone gambit is what's going to put them very far in the lead against mm -hmm. each other. The punish game is very, very important in this game, in this game too, as well, as well. Which is exactly why, oh, good roll by Zill, knowing that he, that he was going to get this. Shield poke! It happened. Oh, no. That... G -O there it goes. My God. There it goes. And just like that. E took E has taken the lead. I don't know what I don't know what that was. I, either of them. <laughs> I don't know. They're I, just, I really <laughs> I'm like, okay. I could get why Dill was putting it out, but but Mystery had no business charging a forward smash there. Shame on you. <laughs> Alright, now E does E needs to get some damage or else this the stock is gonna be for nothing. Especially, so, it's such a flashy way too, and that is gonna be it. Yep. I think that was a bad DI. On that this was part. very I bad DI. Yeah. I didn't see the red lightning, you know. Yeah, he just sort of went up and accepted that. Up, so. up in the way. He accepted his fate. <laughs> but it's still too early to call both of these two very, uh, very early in their last Jesus. Okay. okay. Nice adaptation by Dill. Just get it. Getting his bread and butter in. Okay. All right, now, one thing about Mr. E that I've noticed is that he hasn't been mixing up his DI on the Bouncing Fish. Forward throw on a Bouncing Fish is essentially only true at very low percents at this point. If you DI straight up, like, it's it's really, really hard to hit. Like, you have to time, Dill would have to time the jump exactly, so then that way he, he'd be able to, he, he would be able to hit E. But now this is this is anyone's game, man. Oh my god. I, he's right. DIing that straight up. I can I can see that here. Yeah, the DI is just not looking too good on it, but it's still pretty early in these percentages as they're getting into the more dangerous parts of them. So <laughs> man, just... man, she was at a dangerous percent once she reached 60. <laughs> <laughs> but still stop still got a bit of a work ahead of him before he can clutch out the stock against Mystery. Okay. Now he's gonna try and trump. Is oh no. Oh he did it! Wow! Wow, beautiful. Just opting to remain patient. He knows that he can't overextend on Dillard. Nice coverage. Ooh, 
Ooh, all right. Still just sort of standing around. Is that up there going to do it? Not yet. Excellent hurt box shifting from Dill. You saw that he just aimed to, I believe there was a nair. Sort of scrunching. Don't air something. dodge. Don't air dodgy. It's New York City. You don't air dodge. He, ooh. Oh, wow. I love that. Did he Not down just yet. All right. Actually, I think Sheik might be able to kill percent with from, from a throw because it's, li it's Lila. Yeah, especially if it's on the platform. The throw can kill. Yep, but, that's it. Yep. Yeah. The one pommel. All right. I'll see. I'll see. Me. Uh, paging Austin La Vista. All right, good.